friends i want to use this channel a little bit to discuss some of my favorite foods to make and snacks to eat when you're in a rushed busy daily life schedule so one of my favorites is overnight oats i eat these for breakfast almost every single day because it's just really easy to let them in the fridge overnight and then wake up and have your breakfast ready to eat so i'm gonna walk you through how i make mine i have my mason jar here and what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add half a cup of oats. You can add however many oats you want. You just want to have equal parts oats and liquid. So half a cup of oats goes into the jar and then I'm gonna put the exact same amount of liquid. I'm gonna use my oat milk here. So I'm gonna do half a cup of oat milk and it's gonna go into the same jar. And then for my oats, I like to make them protein because I want to have a little bit of protein in the morning to make sure that my breakfast is filling. So I'm adding a little bit of my oat optimum nutrition <laughs> protein powder into the jar. And then I'm going to seal the jar very well. And I'm going to mix it in there. So all I did was equal parts oats and milk of choice, mine was oat milk, and a little bit of protein powder. And after that, you put it in the fridge and you leave it in there overnight until it cooks. And in the morning, I like to add my mixed nut butter or any type of peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever you like. You can add fresh fruit, you can add any toppings that you think would be good, but the idea is that you don't have to do anything besides putting these things in a jar and leaving the jar in the fridge and in the morning you wake up and you're tired and you don't want to waste time cooking so your breakfast is waiting for you in the fridge. because I feel like over time I've learned a little bit of different techniques that I can use to make my dressings at home and to assemble a salad that's gonna be filling but also very delicious. So I'm gonna start in this very wide bowl with a lot of spinach. I'm gonna show you what I do to this spinach in a second to make it taste and have a better texture. So I'm gonna start making the dressing. I'm gonna start with Greek yogurt. I will do about two tablespoons, but I'm not very strict on the measurements because of course Greek yogurt is very healthy, so it doesn't matter if you put too much. On top of the Greek yogurt, I'm gonna go with a little bit of olive oil. I will also put a recipe in the description with measurements if you wanna make this sauce at home, but I'm going with a chicken Caesar salad vibe today. So I'm then gonna go with grated parmesan into my dressing. I'll just open the whole thing. Probably half a tablespoon of this. And then nutritional yeast, which is, which is basically used by vegans as a cheese substitute. I like to use it because it's rich in B vitamins and if you don't eat enough protein or enough animal products, you're not going to be getting enough well, B vitamins. So I like to incorporate this for the taste, but also for the nutritional benefits into my diet. I am then going to use the umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. If you don't know, umami is sort of a fifth kind of taste besides sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. There's also umami, and there's different receptors in our body for umami tastes that get activated when you consume these types of foods. So I like to incorporate umami seasoning sometimes in my food. Okay, and besides that, we're just going to do pink Himalayan salt and normal iodized salt. I like to use both because I like the crisp, crispness of the pink Himalayan sea salt, but it doesn't have iodine, which is essential in the human diet, so I am also going to be using the normal kind of salt into this dressing. to do is mix it. I am going to 
just probably add a little bit of water to make it more watery so we can mix into the greens and I will be back. So I am back with the finished dressing. Just for reference, the texture is like this. I'm excited to show you what I do with it on the greens. So I will add about half the dressing on just the spinach. And I will use my hands to massage it into the spinach. This helps not only for the even distribution of the dressing, but it also helps with digestion. And it makes the dressing give more of a taste to the greens. So for example, if you're making a kale salad, kale tends to be bitter and people stay away from it sometimes because of the taste. But if you use this method, it's much easier to eat it, both in terms of texture and of taste. Okay, so now that I am done massaging the spinach, I will show you what it looks like, even though my hands are dirty. It's like this. And now it's time to add the rest of the toppings. So, I grilled a little bit of turkey and I made it into little balls. They are this size. I realized recently that if you buy ground turkey, you can manipulate the size and the shape of it. So, today I went for this and I used the roasted chicken seasoning from Walmart on the turkey because turkey already kind of tastes like chicken so I thought why not make it a roasted chicken vibe for this um, chicken Caesar salad. So I'm going to add this to my bowl. I am then going to add my quinoa. I love to have a source of carbs always cooked on hand. I have my rice cooker that I either make brown rice in or quinoa that I always keep in the fridge. So right now adding my quinoa into the bowl and then for fresh fruits and vegetables I mean for fresh fresh vegetables I have cucumber and diced grape tomatoes I have a little bit of fresh parsley so let's go in with these cucumbers are in tomatoes are in it's gonna go everywhere and that is it for now and I will show you what it looks like and I'm just gonna add the rest of the seasoning kind of everywhere 